Make it happen. You hear that thing? The that pump? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Probably just needs a new filter. Probably ain't right about it. I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah. Are those leaning to the back too? No, the other one's going to tie to it. So I got to start that other one. I got to start the other one. I got, I got a bunch of other niggas, but the next course will tie you to bridge across the other one. The back course. Start off with a hole one, brother. Okay. All right. We're going to start off with a hole one. Got to leave it going on. Put some mud on the floor. Mud on that floor. Then you put it right out there and you squish it out. See it coming out on the floor? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And you clean it up. Do you join these when it's done? Hmm? You gotta join them? When no, I ain't gonna join them. Just keep just it. Sponge it. Sponge it. Don't just sponge it, okay. Yeah. You don't want an indentation. Uh -uh. Yeah, just sponge it out and let her, let her dry and it's there. It's there to stay, man. Hmm? The main thing is get it level. Get it level. Next bricks. Off the trial. Yep. Well, usually when I build a real far place, I make my own. I don't do this. What's your formula? Did, you I mind sharing your formula? Of, I use a little bit of top end mortar to go with some Portland. Uh -huh. I put about two gallons of mortar in a batch. Because you don't want it hard, hard, but you want it, you don't want to, you don't want to use the top S, it's too hard. Okay. Most time people use the type S on laying block, uh -huh. but you don't want to use laying your far brick. You make your own mix. Type N? Whatever. I use type N and a little bit of Portland with the type N and lay these far brick. What's the, uh, what's the ratio on the mix? Hmm? What's the ratio on the mix? Well, I go, uh, I usually go 12. 12 sands, one bag of mud, about two gallons of Portland in it, and let it mix for about eight minutes. And it's a pretty good mix. There's your secret tips from the master brick mason, people. 
If you're going to build your own fireplace, type in. Uh, and a little bit of Portland mixed with it. A little bit of Portland. Otherwise, it'll crack on you. You don't want to get it too strong, you don't want to get it too hard. The ones I built, they still stand in the day. And they built some of them, some of them eight, ten years old. Jesus. That's the homemade fireplaces. I just built mine. Mine's been built about, about four years. Where, at your house? Damn it. Yeah. It's been there a long time then, huh? Mm -hmm. What'd you do, build the house around it? Uh-uh. <laughs> what? No. Where's the, the, are you talking about the one in your house? Yeah. Yeah, your house ain't... six years to build a house. <laughs> your house ain't been there that long, has it? I got it framed up, just like you see this structure. Yeah. Then I built the parkway. Okay. This was a small house to begin with, people. Not real small, but it's it's over double in size now. Big addition. Yeah, the addition's bigger than the old house. Yes. Yeah, original house. I wonder if he's gonna um. I wonder if he's gonna rebrick the whole house again. Now, thank you. We ain't doing the brick work on this. One. Yeah. I gave this one away. I got this one where. Just give it away. Oh. Yeah, Johnny said I'll probably be working with you Monday, maybe Tuesday. Yeah, we got to be back down here Monday. Tuesday we'll be in Lockley, Alabama. Okay. Lockley, Alabama. Yeah, I'm, I'm caught up on all my vinyl right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Except a little bit over at uh, at Payne's house. They gotta um, they gotta build them. Uh, what what'd you call them? The, the um, over that roof over the garage? Mm -hmm. Cantilevers. Yeah. You gotta put some kickers on it. Yeah, kickers. Okay. So you don't want no post to come to the floor to be in the way when he drives up in there. Yeah. So y'all gotta put kickers. Kick it off to brace it up. It's gonna be sticking out about that much, and that's it. Yep. I put I put kickers on a, a one house for him over uh, over in Loxley. It was only like a little overhang over the, the door though, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. That was before uh, that was before the COVID hit. I called they used to call that house my COVID house. Because the COVID hit while I was doing it. Okay. I'm going to have a cut. All right. We're going to cut this little piece in. And uh, we'll go from there, boy. Let me go cut it. Okay, folks, stay tuned. And we'll be back with part three.